It's my honor to welcome Professor Hegel Krak, one of the most famous historian of science. Professor Krak, it's a pleasure to, to have an opportunity um, to, to take this interview. Uh, thank you for accepting the invitation. We know, uh, we already know from your fascinating lecture that there was a tendency in the past, in the history, um, to search for a final theory. Um, also, nowadays, uh, some scientists uh, seem to search for such theory. So I would like to ask, uh, what do you think? Uh, is theory of everything really possible? Uh, no, I don't think it's possible uh, at all. And there are very good reasons, both historical reasons, but also more philosophical reasons. As you said, people in the past uh, have often tried to construct this kind of series. Descartes, I believe, was one of the first and there is a whole series of people who have tried to formulate series of everything and they have all been totally failures. So that is one kind of argument. But there are also other arguments, namely that it is impossible uh, to have a theory which is explains everything because that theory would need to explain itself, so to speak. Mm -hmm. and, and to explain all the symbols and all the operations, even the mathematics of that theory. Mm -hmm. and, and that is just not possible, even from a logical point of view. So, um, uh, the theory of everything is a kind of theory which is a dream. Mm -hmm. It has been very productive in history, from a heuristic point of view. Uh, but it, I'm almost certain that it never ever will be a reality. Even in principle, yes? Yes. Well, I, I mean, uh, this kind of theory, everything, or final theory, is always in, in principle theory. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but even at that stage, it will remain a dream. Perhaps a beautiful dream, but a dream nonetheless. Okay, so maybe... Let's talk about the limits of the science. Um, are there any limits of scientific explanation? Uh, I, I believe there is. Uh, of course, we have to maybe a bit clear what we mean by scientific explanation. And uh, when you speak of science in this context, I assume that you mean the natural sciences, physics, okay. chemistry, biology, and things like that. Uh, and we also have to specify w what we mean by a... Uh, uh, by an explanation, I mean when an explanation is scientific. Mm -hmm. um, so, so with these provisos, um, I will say that sure, uh, there are limits. Um, uh, there are cer certain uh, limits in almost in principle, uh, but uh, of course there are limits uh, in practice as well. Um, uh, as I pointed out in my talk, uh, there are meaningful concepts which cannot be translated into scientific language uh, such as nothingness or uh, infinity or absolute creation. Um, these are in principle, as I see it, outside the power of science and yet they are meaningful from a philosophical and even also to some extent from a theological uh, perspective. So, so, I mean, for that reason uh, alone uh, there are limits and then of course there are more uh, practical limits. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that, that, that would be my answer to that which is not very original. I guess that most people have the same conclusion. And I will say, if I may add that, fortunately so. I mean, it would really, really be a dull word, world if we could explain everything scientifically. Why? It would be not, not, not be worth living in, because then our actions and our emotions and everything uh, would just be the products explainable products mm -hmm. of uh, scientific laws 
uh, in the brain or somewhere else, and we would be uh, robots in some sense. But what about neuroscience and its possibilities? It's, I, 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 yes, that's very fascinating, uh, but also potentially disturbing. I, I, I'm an, very much an amateur in that area, um, but my intuition, or perhaps it's just my hope, is that these more uh, ambitious aim of the neurosciences to um, explain human emotions and things like that. I, I don't believe in it, and I very much hope that they will not succeed. Okay, thank you very much for your interesting okay. answers. Thank you. Thank you.